Is it lucky? What is that thing? Check this out, guys. I've got myself here a uh, six-foot rod of <laughs> ultra-high molecular weight polyethylene. And the rod was like ten bucks, and shipping was five bucks. And I know for a fact that if I was to try and send something like that through a UPS, it would not cost me five bucks. As a matter of fact, if I wanted to go buy this shipping tube, I think it probably would cost five bucks. I really don't know how they do this stuff. How do they do it? But, uh, yeah, uh, if you ever want to get crazy pieces of plastic like that, you would get them from Zorro. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to try and pound this uh, thing on open. So I, I'm just going to put the camera here so you can kind of catch my antics here. Lucky dog, you want to go back in? Okay, go ahead, girl. It's kind of chilly today, but I, I don't know. She's just afraid I'm going to do something stupid. So, so you can see what I'm doing. I've got a metal cap in the end, so I was thinking maybe hammer it sideways so I can get the tube out. It might just make things worse. <laughs> it looks like it's making things worse. Oh yeah, now it's all fucking jammed in there and stuff. Alright, tell you what, I will figure out how to open this thing and I will come back to you in just a second. Alright, we're back. So, using a screwdriver is a little bit better. Wow, very nice. They put a very dense foam. Yow. They got a, like a really dense foam plug in here, too. Well, I'll tell you what, they packed the heck out of my uh, indestructible plastic rod here. Wow, is that gnarly. That is really, really weird. Look at this thing. <laughs> you know, Delrin is, a lot, I think, a lot stiffer than this. This is, <laughs> this is really flexible. That's really weird. And when you flex it, it stays flexed. Boy, that's weird. I, I, I was t torn between ordering, you know, a standard acetyl Delrin HDPE type rod or ordering some ultra-high molecular weight because the ultra-high molecular weight is really, really slick. And, uh, and it should also be incredibly dense. As you can see, it's just a piece of black plastic. But what I was going to do is, first of all, I wanted to see how tough this is. So I've got a test for us over here. I've got an old monitor that needs the crap beat out of it. And I was going to see, you know, is this, is this a good whacking stick or is, it, or is it not a good whacking stick? You know, you really don't know until you try. All right, let's see what it did. Wow, it put a, a serious kink in it. So I was kind of hoping this would be like a good whacking stick. <clears throat> I'm actually going to use this to make some custom shotgun rounds, and if I succeed in making the custom shotgun rounds, some shuttlecock, I will, uh, I'll send them to uh, Tough Later Mouse for him to shoot. For everybody to check out, I guess, if he'll do it. Um, yeah, I was really hoping that this thing was going to be a little more a bruto. As you can see, it really didn't even leave a mark on the monitor. But then again, once I make this into some uh, shotgun rounds, maybe we can uh, get a little better. Yeah, I mean, geez. That's not very impressive at all. This is not a good whacking stick. No. So this is the first time I've ever experienced ultra-high molecular weight uh, material. It just seemed intriguing to me because I've seen it used to make uh, air cannon uh, projectiles. Because it's super slick, it's nice and heavy. Apparently, it uh, has some properties that the air cannon guys like. I have no idea. Maybe because it's slick, slides down the PVC tube nice. It's very strange looking, very shiny. You can see it kind of looks like it's made in some sort of a spiral wrap mold. Because there is definitely a spiral to it. I have no idea. So it's in no ways is it um, uniform in thickness. It is skinny, fat, skinny, fat, skinny, fat. And it's crookeder, uh, yeah, than a pig's uh, penis, actually. And I was really disappointed, man, because I wanted to beat the snot out of this monitor with it. But it's, uh, it's just very underwhelming. <laughs> 
It also feels lighter than it should be. It just, for something that says ultra high molecular weight, it feels a lot lighter. I mean, if this was cutting board material, I think it would feel about twice as heavy. I don't know what to tell you. I'm totally confused. I mean, you can see it has very little <laughs> I'm hitting this monitor from the side. If I was hitting this with a wood stick, I think I would have already broke it by now. That's crazy. <laughs> what the heck, man? So, maybe I just threw 15 bucks away, but I'm going to try and make some, uh, some shotgun rounds out of it. Little shuttlecock type foster slug rounds out of it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, guys. It's freaking weird.